Welcome to the Heroes How-To video series. This video will show you how to complete Part 58 reviews in Heroes for the three most common levels of review, categorically excluded not subject to 58.5 or CENST, categorically excluded subject to 58.5 or CEST, and environmental assessments or EAs. We'll start with CENST reviews. If you're a partner user, you will not be able to complete the final CENST screens. You will see this notice screen and will be directed to assign the review to a responsible entity by selecting Assign Review on the side menu. If you're a responsible entity completing a CENST review, you will be directed to screen 6222 Exempt and CENST Signature page from the package screen. This screen produces the final environmental review record. Complete the steps in order so that the environmental review record includes the signed signature page. Step 1. Click the Print Signature Page button. A pop-up window will appear and your document will begin downloading. Click the Download Word Document link. Once you obtain the necessary signatures, scan and save the signed signature page and upload the document using the provided button. The file link will appear under the Print Signature Page button. Step 2. Use the calendar icon to select the date the signature page was signed. Step 3. Click the Generate Final Environmental Review Record button to generate the final review for your records. Your uploaded signature page will be included in this document. This review will remain in Heroes so you can generate the record at any time. Once all steps have been completed and you have confirmed that the environmental review record is finalized, click the Mark Review Complete button to conclude your environmental review. A pop-up box will appear indicating that you have completed your environmental review. Click OK. You will then be taken back to the My Environmental Review dashboard, where your review will now show the status of completed. For CEST reviews, partner users again will not be able to complete the final screens and should assign the review to a responsible entity. RE users completing a CEST review must make an environmental finding. Indicate if the project converts to exempt, if the project cannot convert to exempt because compliance is required for one or more factors, or if the project may result in significant environmental impact, which requires the preparation of an environmental assessment. This finding is made on screen 6210 for standard reviews or screen 6215 for tiered reviews. On the applicable screen, document your determination by selecting the radio button next to the appropriate determination. Your selection in the Environmental Findings screen determines the next series of screens in Heroes. If the project requires an environmental assessment, a pop-up box will instruct you to return to the Level of Review Determination screen. Clicking OK takes you to screen 1311, Level of Review, where you can manually change the review to an environmental assessment based on extraordinary circumstances. All of the data previously entered for the federal laws and authorities will remain unchanged. If your environmental review converts to exempt, you'll be taken to screen 6224. On screen 6224, you must prepare the signature page. Use the Print Signature Page button to generate a signature page. Obtain the necessary signatures, scan and upload the completed signed signature page, and indicate the date it was signed. Click the Save and Continue button. Categorically excluded reviews that do not convert to exempt must be made available for public comment and will be posted online during a public comment period. On screen 6226, you will complete the signature page and post the review for public comment. Step 1 is to prepare the signature page. First, print the signature page. Once you obtain the necessary signatures, scan and upload the document. Use the calendar icon to select the date the signature page was signed by the certifying official. Next, click the calendar icon in Step 2 to select the date the public comment period will close. A note on counting days. Comment periods start the day after public notice, and submission to HUD cannot occur until the day after the public comment period ends. Refer to 5843 and 5845 for more information on how to publish or post your review. In Step 3, list the address, mailing or electronic, for the public to submit comments regarding the review. This address will appear in the Heroes Generated Environmental Review Record. Finally, click the Generate and Post Environmental Review Record button to publish the review on the HUD Exchange website. 
Your environmental review record will be posted on this website within 24 hours for the duration of the public comment period. If you update or change the environmental review during the public comment period, you may press the Generate and Post Environmental Review Record button again to post the updated environmental review record. The review will automatically be removed from the HUD Exchange website on the date you selected as the end of the public comment period. Note that the public notice and commenting process still occurs outside of HEROES and you are responsible for publishing or posting the notice separately. You may wish to provide a link to the HUD Exchange website when publishing or posting your public notice or notice of intent to request a release of funds. Once all steps have been completed, click the Save and Continue button to go to screen 6230, Notice of Intent to Request Release of Funds. Complete screen 6230 only after the public comment period has elapsed to record the results of the public comment period. On this screen, indicate the means of providing public notice by selecting if the Notice of Intent to Request a Release of Funds was published, posted, or if you're combining RE and HUD comment periods. You may select more than one option. Indicate whether you received any public comments. If you select yes, use the upload button to upload comments received and your responses. Summarize any changes made to the environmental review in response to the comments in the text box. If you decide to make changes to the environmental review as a result of the public comments, make those changes prior to proceeding to the next screen. Use the side menu to navigate back to the appropriate screen or screens to make changes. Once all fields are complete, click the Save and Continue button to move on to screen 701515 Request for Release of Funds and Certification. Please view the video on the Request for Release of Funds for more information. For environmental assessments, partner users once again will not be able to complete any of the final screens and should assign the review to a responsible entity. RE users must make an environmental finding after completing the analysis components of the environmental assessment. Document if the review resulted in a finding of no significant impact, or FONSI, or a finding of significant impact by selecting the appropriate radio button on screen 6310. For a FONSI, click the Save and Continue button to go to the package screen. Please refer to the package screen video for step-by-step -step details. Following the package screen, you will be directed to screen 6320 to complete the signature page and post the review for public comment. Step 1 is to print the signature page, obtain the necessary signatures, and scan and upload the document. Use the calendar icon to select the date the signature page was signed by the certifying official. Then select the radio button for the final determination. If the final determination is a finding of significant impact, You'll be directed to screen 6600 to archive the environmental assessment and to start a new environmental impact statement for the project. For a FONSI, click the calendar icon in Step 2 to select the date the public comment period will close. In Step 3, list the address for the public to submit comments regarding the review. Finally, click the Generate and Post Environmental Review Record button to publish the review to the HUD Exchange website. Note that like the CEST posting process, the public notice and commenting process for EAs still occurs outside of HEROES and you are responsible for publishing or posting the notice separately. Once all steps have been completed, click the Save and Continue button to go to screen 6330. Like the CEST public comment process, you should complete screen 6330 only after the public comment period has elapsed to record the results of the public comment period. Respond to the questions on how the public notice was distributed and indicate if you combined the FONSI and the NOI ROF notices for the public comment periods. Then indicate whether you received any public comments and upload any comments received and your responses. Also indicate whether the comments were on the NOI ROF, FONSI, or both. Summarize any changes made to the environmental review in response to the comments in the text box. If you decide to make changes to the environmental review as a result of the public comments, make those changes prior to proceeding to the next screen. If, after reviewing public comments, you determine that the findings should be changed, select the appropriate radio button. Once all fields are complete, click the Save and Continue button to move on to screen 701515, Request for Release of Funds and Certification. Please review the video on the Request for Release of Funds for more information.
Thank you for watching this Heroes How To video. For more information on using Heroes, please visit the Heroes page on the HUD Exchange.